Hi, I want to do a video about the new moon that's happening on Sunday morning in the UK at 5.04 in the morning. And um, because this is a new moon in Scorpio, and this is, well, it's a third super moon that we've had in a row. So it's a super powerful moon. It, when there's a super moon, it's, it means that the moon is closest to Earth. So we feel its symbolism. We feel its energy much more profoundly. So we just take a back seat for a moment and just acknowledge that right now we're in Scorpio season. So basically from um, 21st of October, we moved into this Scorpio world and Scorpio is very much connected to death, transformation, what's hidden, taboos. It's the area of life that we don't necessarily talk about in polite conversation, um, but it's here to take the mysteries of life and to basically have a rebirth. So people that have a really strong Scorpio theme in their charts often have many different lives in one. It's almost like they have to shed skin and they often can be a little bit un un uncomfortable before this transition happens. It Maybe it can happen from through crisis or something happening in the outside world. But I always think whenever I work with my Scorpio clients is just be aware that when crisis happens and it's time to move forward, when you look back at that time, you're going to realise that actually, even though it may have felt like it came from nowhere or left field, that actually it was a part of you that was needing to change, that was needing to move forward into something else. So this is very much the season um, that we're experiencing, a kind of like a collective, a global transformation, a rebirth on some level. And it's not always comfortable. It's not always comfortable with it when the skin just gets too tight and we need to change. Um, but perhaps part of us um, being the mortals that we are can often like hold back and, and stick with the familiar on some level. Now, our, our ancestors, especially the Celt ancestors, um, would have seen this, um, this time, this month, um, being where the veil between the two worlds at its thinnest. So it means that we can really access the wisdom um, from our ancestors that, you know, dreams may be more vivid, we may have more signs, we may um, have more connection. So anything that you can do, if you have a connection to one particular ancestor or anyone that's um, been very important, that's passed over, that isn't on the earth plane anymore, this is a really powerful time to connect to them on some level in a way that feels right to you. So when we have this new moon that's happening, as I mentioned earlier on the Sunday morning, this the energy around this time is about us sowing our seeds, setting a new intention in this area. Now, I know I mentioned that Scorpio is connected to death. But it's, it's more interested in the transformation that happens through death. So it's really about allowing part of ourselves to die so that it can transcend, something new can emerge. So what is it in your life that's actually served its purpose? What is it that you need to let go of? Because this is the time to do it. This is such a potent, rich time to let go of something that has has served its purpose that it, there's no longer needed in your life now it could be a belief system it may be a relationship it may be a situation so whatever you can do to let it go and i'm going to create a meditation um so if you want to join my moon um, tribe and you can just do that by going to my website prunicles.com you'll have access to um that meditation which will really help um let go of um, what's not needed anymore and to allow you to step into a, a new way. Um, it's a very introverted time. I always find that the energy around Scorpio asks me to go in, to go deep. It's not necessarily being out there all the time. Um, the more that we can reflect, the more introverted we feel. And let's not forget that this new moon, this energy is going to be in a certain area of your house. So we all have our own natal charts, which was created the moment we took our first breath. And this new moon in Scorpio is going to be connected in your natal chart in an area of life. And the more that you can set an intention, the more that you can sow a seed connected to this area of life, the more powerful it's going to be. So just notice what is it, what area of your life is ready for transformation? Let's really tap into the Scorpio magic, that Scorpio depth. 
Um, Scorpios, I always feel like, often could be the spies of the zodiac. They like mystery, they like intrigue, but most of all, they're really good at seeking out that which is hidden. Hidden from society, but also that which is hidden from ourselves. What is it that we are unaware of a change? So I'm wishing you a wonderful Scorpio new moon. Um, create something that feels right for you. Now, for some of us, it might just be lighting a candle. For some of us, it might be creating an altar to honour our ancestors or particularly the ones that are standing out or you feel more connected to at the moment. But just listen within and see what is it that's going to help you sow your seeds, sow your intentions for the, um, the following month.